Hello everyone, welcome back to Coding Chess. My name is Nelson and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys HTML forms and back um from where we stopped in the um, previous video. So you could see this is what we did previously, and so today we're gonna to take a step forward and I'm gonna be teaching you guys um, HTML forms. So let me get rid of all these real quick. So yep. And let me save this compare. So let me just change my title. So let me say forms. Yep. Forms. So um, um I want to be more specific with my title. So you, you guys are gonna know what I'm gonna be doing. So forms. So yep, so um I'm gonna explain for you guys right now what um forms are. Um um the HTML form is the way in which um, we taking um, users data which is users and um, input so you know it's kind of stuff where you visit the website they'll tell you um, sign off and kind of that so let me give you guys an instance so over here back to the popular w schools website so this an example of what a form typically looks like so this is it so from the sign off straight down this is what a form looks like so you come over here um, put in your email so you know then your um, password and the rest of that so this basically um, what I want to teach you guys in this um, project so let's head back to our code so you could see sorry you could see from here um the form just request um the users and input the email it wants your email and your password which definitely is going to send to the back end of um, the website which is the server so uh, maybe the server is going to host it and um, save your um, de um, database then from database maybe if you want to get your um, signing letter it could recognize you with authentication and the rest of that but that um not for the purpose of this video so what i want to do is just show you guys like how to design something like the ui of um something that um looks pretty much like this so let's get back and start so when i do that you say form then hit enter so um this um action attribute like we don't need it for now but basically what the action attribute does it um tells us like maybe where we're gonna make um a post request or like um a url where we want to go post something or get something and the rest of that maybe even um, um php or node.js and js any server side language of course so this attribute like gives more with server side languages so let's get rid of that so I just need my form. Inside my form, we have um input um elements. This input elements like there are lots of them. You have input type button, um date, um color, email, and password, and the rest of that. So let's start with the most popular one, input text. So input, then I'm gonna say text. So it'll auto complete them for me. So input text. So let me give it um. A name so name i'm just gonna say username okay sorry i'm sorry of this i'm gonna say username then the id let me just give the same id if you want you can change this um it's not like makes no name so it's better you just maybe leave it the same so it's not gonna um, cause any harm in your code so i'm gonna say user name then I'm gonna save this so every um input element comes with um elements in which you call the label label enter so it, um the label element also comes with an attribute so this um for now like it's kind of like what do you want to um, link this label element to like which input element do you want to link this to so i want to link this label right now to this input type text and so um how are you gonna link something you know when you want to link something like you have to like find something which you're gonna use to connect um the both of them so right now what i want to use to link this is um this um and name over here so input um label four so i'm gonna give the same um username as this so the same so i'm gonna say user name yep so over here i'm gonna say user name then space and these then let me save and let's go preview this on in our browser so and yep 
so as you can see guys this um how this looks um it looks pretty much good so you can see inside here you can type what you want um what's your name mine is now seen i don't know maybe just could be um j rest of that or maybe so yeah yep so whatever so you can see you got in the impure type text and the impure type text is gonna take um majorly text um elements like a b to z and sentences and anything you want like you know but you don't need to type much inside here so this is gonna be given in so let's get back right now so we don't put the um, the text so let me go so we could do for another popular one so we could say label you could okay this time let's start with label label for this one i want to make it an email then let me head over here and say um email no not 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 yep then email and give the space yep then we're gonna come down and say impute impute for what in yeah email so the name we're gonna say email um the id you could change it so let me just change this time around i'm gonna say um not yep to so save then head over to browser so you can see username email and if you type in here it's gonna ask you maybe to choose an email you're gonna type your email then at um nothing that's yeah this is just random nonsense that popped up in my head so just tell it looks so this is basically gonna take um email elements so after the email we also have um the password label label for let me say password then over here password then space then here enter impute impute for password so i'm gonna give you a name password then an id um password yep. then save so let's see how this is gonna look in the browser so you could see um this question together so i want to give a space so let me come over here so yep i'm gonna say dr tag so um i just did remember right now like i didn't tell you guys about um br tag the uh, br tag is like a line break so this is also one of the elements that um don't have a closing tag so it just performs one function which is uh, a line break kind of like a space so let me see so yeah, you guys could see it right now so let me say dr again so that it's gonna look so let's head over to our browser so as you can see over here give some spaces so inside here you're gonna impute some password so let me say v v v v so you can see how the password works um it's more security conscious so it doesn't like um maybe if you're typing in something maybe some someone um close to you to see what it's happening so instead of someone close to you see what's happening only you're gonna know what it's happening so currently right now i'm gonna type um just now sin so definitely someone up inside is not gonna know i typed in nelson is just probably gonna see how the better so this is so cool so this tells you that this password um tag and this is just for security um purposes so that's for um, the password and you know um we have a whole um lot of um those um impute um elements we also have um for the, um date so let me just quickly show you guys how the date is we have for the dates let me say dates dates then drop impute i'm gonna say dates yep then uh, for the name i'm gonna just say date as usual then for my id i'm gonna say dates likewise then just let me set this up i don't know if it's gonna clash with this but let me just pull on um, the break then the break let me just do this three times the break and save it up so let's go do this in our browser you can see how the date looks month day year and then click here you choose your date so um 
this day is let me just choose random 14 so you can see it says 14 14 20 and 23 so um actually it's not the day for today but i'm just i'm running something i just chose a time of recording so um let's get back so you could explore more for yourself like by going on to the browser and you can see on this website um double three schools a very good website so um, very good website so you see i didn't treat everything so they have mp type range numbers let me let me zoom in so you can see they have mp type range number and um plus one so i don't want to make this video so congested and um thanks um it's wasted so just i just did on the basic ones you guys um ought to know so let me teach you guys um some other elements so that's that for um input elements so we also have some other good um elements HTML elements like okay um like the radio button so this is also part of the input so I forgot to do this but it's a good one but sorry let me see um okay input then type I'm gonna see radio then hit enter so let me copy this three times if you see come down B then the then for um, the name I'm gonna say um gender 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 then over here the name I'm gonna say gender then um for the ID could just get rid of this if you want so I basically don't need the ID right now so let me get rid of this let me get rid of this then um for this um this um a composer um, attribute in which you're gonna make use of which is at the value I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna explain this for you guys, but just pull up for now so I know you guys must be wondering right now why um they all have the same um, name so I'm gonna put that I'm sure you guys the reason why so for now the value for this let me say the first one is gonna be male Mail, then come over here to value mail. Come over here to value uh, mail. Then, like, okay, sorry, I don't want mail, 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 um, female. Then, value for this, let me just say orders. Yep, so let's say then. Let's preview in our web browser. So currently, right now, this is how um it looks in our web browser. But let me make this so that it's gonna look good. So back to our code. So maybe over here, I'm gonna say mail. Yep. Just here. Then I'm gonna say email. Yep. Then then I'm just gonna say others. Yep. So let's save this and let's go preview once again. So right now you can see if a user comes into your website, logs into your website, or visits your website, this um so explained right now. You know that this first button is for male, female, then this are for the other. So if you click this, you're for male, your male, this your female, and this other. So right now I'm gonna show you guys the reason why I um gave all of them the name of gender. So let's change the name of this one to let me see santa i love santa claus a lot so save so um head over to your browser so if you click this you could see this button and this um button is um the um both um shining um blue because currently um right now you could see this takes a different um name on its own so and this also takes um a different name so that's why um the both um shining blue. So if I come here also and click um um, um female, it's gonna change. Why this change? Because the both share um the same name. So that's why when I click this, it changes. When I click this, it also changes. But when I came over to the male to click so that maybe this blue one is gonna change and um it's gonna be male that I selected, but um it didn't change because of like it has a different name. So you're just gonna make the name the same thing by saying gender then save then you head over to your listener so when you click you see it changes synchronously and then they synchronously so yeah so perfect 
So let's get back and let me show you more um, elements. Yeah, that's our code. So let's save. So we also have the um, select um, tag. So I'm going to say select. So we're going to give this a name. So for the name, let me say car. I want to make this car then. For the ID, if you want to say you could change. So let me just say give it car also as well. So inside you select, um, we, we're going to have um, different options which we're going to choose from. So I'm going to say option, hit enter. Then the value for the option so i'm i'm, I'm just gonna say car one then what's the first car i'm gonna say bmw yep then down um let me just copy this and paste perhaps three times copy. Then control V. But before we go, continue. Let me come here and give a line break. Break. Let me break it two times. So we're gonna have space before this um, element. So let me change this. I'm gonna say car two, car three. So for this, I'm gonna say um, to your so. Then I'm gonna say. And yeah, I'm gonna say more, 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 this. I don't know how to spell, but just say Mercedes, um, Benz, just manage me for the sake of this video. So, if you want, you can correct me. Welcome to, let me just save this and let's see um, how it is in our page. So, let's see. So, this how this basically looks so um inside the select what you're going to be selecting so these are the listed options for you bmw click bmw pops up so you to see it's too little right now um that's the bands it's messy bands so um let me give it um a title up here so that our users are gonna know what they do so i'm just gonna come here and say label label so label for you remember the linking i told you guys about the connection so label for what i want to connect this label to this so we're going to find the name of this select element which i want to connect it to label for what? for car yep so it's linked right now they're both connected so i'm gonna say choose car preference yep choose your car preference just save so instead of the browser and voila so you could see so you just know what they're doing right now in this page is a car of preference so right now i want the toyota so it's just i want so it pops up for me so that's it and um lastly there's one more element i want to talk about which is um which is the text area the text area so um you come beneath this so let me break first of all, break, break, um, break two times. Okay, so let me combine this. So I'm gonna say, um, text, sorry, yeah, text area. So you could give it any name you want. So maybe what I'm gonna say is, um, animal animal i'm gonna say animal then columns row you could change this so this also has to be like columns which is um for um columns row the width and the height so let's say first of all let's go preview how this looks so so right now you can see how this works so this is like maybe if you want to build a blog site like all those Content you want to write, you're gonna write it inside it. So I'm gonna say, um, this, okay, yeah, this is what I have to teach you, you guys, and this tutorial, tutorial, yeah, then a post up. So um. 
is what I have to teach you guys in the tutorial video. So you text in um, sentences, um, text and just as much as you want. So you increase this manually also if you want. So let me show you guys. So you see, I'm increasing this the width right now. So you see, if you decrease the height, it's going down. Look at my scroll button. See, see here, yeah, it's going down. So just let me leave it like this. So I think this is okay for now. So um, I say lastly, but I just remember something right now. So you know, um, after you've done collecting users input, you're gonna send the um the values maybe somewhere um to the server then server um gets those and get in which is sent to it and gives sends it to the database something like that just like as we had on um our WTO site here so you can see um this button right here so after you don't put in your email your password you could come over here let me zoom in so have you guys seen this wall right now so you could come over here click this button sign up it's gonna send your information to where you don't know but just know that um your informations are saved so let's get back so let's put a button in which maybe when we're done it's gonna send uh it's gonna submit our button so you can come over here and say in field then type um submit yep. then value i'm just gonna say submit and save but let me come over here and break this then break this also and then save them once again so let's get back to our project so scroll down so you can see here's the submit button so after you're done taking um information from the um, user maybe the name when i say now saying then change it also then email now in then at me dot com and gmail dot com just say at me dot com then password blah 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 and whatsoever then choose the date then on the mail then I want the BMW right now for myself so and then random testing which I wrote in here so I'm just gonna come over here and click this submit so immediately click the submit button it's gonna perform its Action. so i'm just gonna say that save and so there's that so these um all i have for you guys about spawn so in case of any questions confusions you can drop um questions down in the comment section so um hope to see you guys on the um, next video yeah so but before we go let me summarize um quickly let me summarize quickly yeah, so for the summary, we learned how you could create web forms using the form element. I um I showed you guys that. So before you create any form, you're gonna use form element. You know, play around with different HTML fit types. You could such as radio, select email, select the serial password, which we did. Then lastly, we learned how forms are being um, submitted, which I showed you as the last time we did video. So that's that, and thank you guys, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.